Welcome to Brian Beeler's Rounding Them Up. It's going to be February 18th, 10K and under for sale, 1955 Chevrolet hardtop post and wagons. If you're new to the channel, I'm Brian Beeler, and rounding up old classic cars is what I do for subscribers. So if that's something you're interested in, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel, drop in the comments the make and model you're looking for, and we'll round them up for you. The one you see here in the thumbnail, the banner, this is always my pick of the day, the one I would go check out if I was looking to buy a 55 Chevrolet. All that said, let's get on to our search. It's going to be Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. That's the two platforms we're on. None of these cars belong to me. I've simply put them in price order from lowest to highest. Hopefully deleted off all the duplicate ads. And let's get started. 1955 Chevrolet Wagon. 1800 bucks, South Carolina. This car don't look bad at all. All the glass is missing. But I love the rally wheels and it says clean title. Will not respond to automatic messages. Has a clean title. Selling it for his buddy. It's a roller. South Carolina, 11 weeks. Looking for a handyman wagon. Boom. Going to be a 1955 Chevrolet 210 sedan. 1950s asking price on this one. Listed a week ago in Texas. Says 210. Parts are restored. Needs the right rear quarter panel. Has good California frames. Probably what he's saying. One piece tubular frame, and it's 1950 your best offer. There is no title, it's bill sale only. And they already cut the quarter panel off it, apparently. There you go. They already cut the quarter off of it. I would recommend not doing that until you have a quarter panel to put back on it. You don't have to cut the whole car apart at one time. You can always start one section at a time. People that go off and just cut their whole car apart, and then they try to sell it. So I could have been wrecked and smashed. That could be why it's pulled off there. On to another 1955 Chevrolet two-door Chevy. That's how he's got it posted. $2,900. Listed two weeks ago, Indiana. Looking to build a gasser? Who cares about a title? Boom. Found you one of those for $2,900. Project car with no engine, no tranny. Can't get a title. $2,900. Going to be a 1955 Chevrolet Chevy. That's how he's got it posted. Three grand, three weeks ago, Texas. Going to be a 55 Chevy two-door post. No motor, no trans. Rusted out floors, no glass at all. Pretty straight body. Cash only. You heard it right, you're getting no glass. Probably not much trim either, and the floors are rotted out. Price is three grand. It's been out here for three weeks in Texas. Going to be a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. Three grand listed a week ago, Washington. Stuffed in a garage. Looks like a four-door. Nope, it's a two-door, and it's a hard top for three grand. Floors are gone. It's rough. Is there a title? Three thousand or best offer trade for a golf cart or a TIG welder or, or tools. So you're looking to do some trading? I'm not sure. He's got a uh, it says a heavy-duty box frame, California frame. It's hard top. Needs saving. Washington. 1955 Chevrolet, 3500 bucks listed a day ago, California. 55 Chevy 210 wagon. Good project car with a clean title. I love it. The blue and the white. Can't get there fast enough to buy that one for 3500 bucks. Awesome deal. All together, all the glass in it, all the trim on it. Still got the six cylinder in it. You can't get there fast enough. California, 1955 Chevrolet Caprice. And I realize it's not a Caprice, but that's how you'll find it. North Carolina on Facebook Marketplace, 3500 bucks. It's a four-door with a really pretty driver fender on it. It says clean title, and it says needs to be built. That's all you get for info, four-door, North Carolina. Been out here for eight weeks. I like them white wall tires. It's going to be a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door hardtop, 3500 bucks. You see it right four weeks ago, Arkansas. Looking for one all stripped down. Needs a quarter panel. Fender looked rough. It looks like you're getting no trimmings. At all. Trunk's been cut out. Rocker had a hole. You tell me. It's had floors put in it. It's $3,500. Says clean title. Arkansas it says has title. So check them out, Arkansas, looking for a 55 Bel Air two-door hardtop. We found you one for 3500 bucks. Missing a lot, would be my guess. 
1955 Chevrolet Bel Air 3500 seven weeks ago Texas so you're getting piles of parts four-door and a two-door let's see what it says 155 Chevy two-door 155 Chevy four-door two cars together two-door has no frame pair of two doors no fenders or hoods or trunk lids you heard it right clean Texas bonded titles what it says Looking for a pile of parts, two-door and four-door. Got some right there in Texas. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, 3,837 weeks ago. We actually had this on our last time we did 55 roundup. So we still got the frame propped up against the barn. It's a body and frame, right? Body and frame. He still had this posted. 37 weeks later, it's still on here. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, four grand Georgia this time, four weeks. You know what I think about the photo. It would have been nice to have cropped it down. It would have been as big as the blurry one in the background. It is a two-door post. It's in primer. Floors look a little rusted. And it says something about a title or no? Needs floors, rockers, quarter panels, tail pans, serious filers only, no trades, cash, or best offer. No education needed. Bullshit. That's what it's saying. So he knows his car's rusted out piece of shit, and he don't need you to tell him about it. Looking to restore one and spend four grand to start? Well, there you go. Found you one. Georgia. With some really crappy photos. Me 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air hardtop. These are some pretty good photos, right? Four grand four days ago, South Carolina. And you heard it right. It's a hardtop. Boy, is that rough. You want to leave some patina on your tri-fi? There's some tri-fi patina for you. Looks like he's got 57s and 55s. And description, there is none. So you just got to reach out and contact him. He's asking for a grand for a 55. There's one, two, or three. They're all numbered. Which car was you interested in? 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air four-door station wagon. 4950 California. It's been out here for 13 weeks. I was going to say, it looked like the back wheel wells are radius. They are. Some cool American Racings on the back. Some Chrome Steelies on the front. Cool car back in the day. Could be again. Go grab it up. Save it. Great car for restoration is what it says for description. Nothing about a type. I mean, 1955 Chevrolet stock car. Five grand, four days ago, Florida. Florida looking to do some laps. And a 55 Chevy. We've showed it before. It was on the last time we'd done this search. He's still got it for sale. He's down to five grand. So I don't know what he was asking for it last time we showed it, but he's still got it. It's still posted, Florida. In 1955, Chevrolet Bel Air, 5265. That's the price listed 16 weeks ago, Texas. It's a hard top. There's probably no title with this one. Chevy, gas, or roller, no title. It's patched up the floors already. So that explains the price. It's got a straight axle in it already, too, don't it? Looking one for one with no title, straight axle already in it in Texas. 16 weeks, he's been trying to get 52, 65 for it at this point. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air four-door, 5,400 listed 13 weeks ago, California. It's the same gentleman that had the red wagon with American Racing's on the back, Steely's on the front. It's sitting right beside it. I'm not sure why they cut it out. Maybe so you don't think you're getting a two for one. But I believe 10 grand buys that wagon and that four-door if you're interested in both of them. I dig that set of Buick wheels I got on there. On to another one. 1955 Chevrolet Handyman. 5500 bucks two weeks ago, Washington. Got my trailer wheels on this one. I gotta tell you the other one we see, man. You can't get there fast enough for 3500 But $5,500 of Washington again. Is this the same state? I think the other one was in Washington. I think the other one was a better deal. I didn't even read it out, but on to another 1955 Chevrolet. I'm just showing you where they're at, where they're listed, how long they've been listed. 45 weeks. How'd this make the cut? Sitting in the backyard with doors in it. I had an extra door in there. No hood, no grill, no trim, no glass. 55 Chevy, two door, 150 car. Has great fenders and doors, very restorable. 5,500 are best offer. 45 weeks. Nobody's touched that one. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, 5,500 bucks. Listed five weeks ago, Georgia. I shouldn't say nobody's touched that car. The reality is that 
They just didn't delete the ad, and more than likely, that person's no longer alive or with us and able to access the account. I don't know. I didn't look into it. But it's on here. I showed you how to look it up, and you can look into it if it was your area. These photos totally suck. <laughs> I mean, I'm on a big TV watching, and I don't know how many of y'all watch a TV or on your phones or whatever, but on your phone, I doubt you can even see it. And it was so easy to fix with this big edit button that we got showed on his phone. If he would have just clicked edit, it would have then went to options that you could do to this photo. And one of them would be crop this down to where it's as blurry as the background. So every photo of this car sucks. It's $5,500, Georgia, so I'd say there's no title either. But if you want to look it up, I showed you how to find it. 1955 Chevrolet two-door Chevy. I believe this was the other car. So there's two of these things at this guy's place. You'll grab them both up. Looking for some 55s, some radius wheel wells. They both look like gassers. 55 Chevy, your best offer. 5500, your best offer. Complete. Beside engine and tranny. Has a title. Indiana. These Both these cars should have got the pick. This guy's listings right here. And he didn't list them both in the same ad. If you go on his profile, you'll find them both listed for sale, though. This should have been the pick. 5500 for this one, 35 for that one. Just go buy them both. Give him eight grand, load them both up. It's my opinion. 1955 Chevrolet Classic, 5500 bucks. California, two weeks this one's been on here. It's a delivery. 99% of the outside chrome needs restoration. Chevy body's on an 86 Camaro chassis. You heard it right. I sat it on an 86 Camaro, and they left those 86 Camaro rallies on there, too. Project you're looking for, California, two weeks, 5500 bucks. A great deal to me. You mentioned he had all the outside chrome trim. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, 5500 bucks. 11 weeks ago, Florida. Four-door, a lot of body work already done. Still showing a lot in the bottom of the doors. But you gotta love that yellow primer, right? And it says, what else do you need besides clean title, right? Actually, they collect, checked clean title up here, but a lot of times you're reading the ad, then it'll say no title. If it adds up, it's still available. I love that. You have to hit him up, see if it really does have a title with it. It's like you're getting an engine with it. It's a four door, if that's what you're looking for in Florida. See any glass anywhere either. Be a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, 5,500 bucks. Listed two weeks ago, Texas. This car looks great. So as far as bones, this car looks like perfect bones. Yeah, it sure does. Post 55 Chevy two door post roller. It's a project. What you see is what you get. No engine, no tranny, no glass. Sold a bill sale only, so that explains a lot of that nice looking body right there. 1955 Chevrolet Classic. This is going to be a 5750 listed a week ago, Illinois. Got some dents in the quarter in the door, front clips off of it, solid floors. Real minimal patches needed on what we're seeing here. This is a 55 Chevy two door hardtop body, frame, roller. Frame's been sandblasted and primered. Looks nice. Body has been sandblasted and etch primered. It's about 90% rust free. Would be a good start to a project. Asking $57.50 and it's a bill sale only. So there it goes to show you how bad affects the price when you don't have titles. Both those last two look like great deal. You got a rusty one at home? You're looking to rebody it? There you go. 1955 Chevrolet Other. Six grand listed 11 weeks ago. Love the paint. I like the rallies too. Nice tires. Inside looks trash. Still had a clutch pedal in there. Back glass sides or glasses are both broke. Man, it was looking so good right up to those photos, right? It's a nice car. It's a cool wagon. Six grand. Clear title in hand, so that always helps. Love the paint. I think I'd leave that on there for a while until I got her going. So it's going to be our first Craigslist ad. 1955 Chevy Wagon 4-door. $6,400. Going to be in California. Got a couple photos of it on here. Looks like it's somewhat all together, and I like that. So I like them together more than I like them in boxes. 
It's a 265 three speed on the column. I love the drivetrain. It's apparently still in it too. So cool car, 6400. There you go. A lot of photos too. It's a great ad right there. Craigslist. I noticed some of those other AI channels that are trying to do the round them up, so they're not doing Craigslist at all. So that will be one of those cars you don't see on one of those AI channels. The 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air sedan delivery, 6,500 bucks listed a year ago. PA, it's been listed for a year. Probably because nobody wants to go haul it away. So he's got a new one-piece floor, fenders, doors, stuff stacked for days. Take a big old box truck with you and a big car trailer, and you'll get it all. Sixty-five hundred bucks, man. He sold that in a year. Wonder why, right? He went out there just spent a couple weekends and put it back together, where someone didn't have to bring three trucks, a trailer, and whatnot to get it out of there. He probably already sold it. Nineteen fifty-five Chevrolet two-door handyman wagon. It's red. Got it in the garage. I like the side window. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> but that's me. Uh, the floors looked absolutely great in this car. Did have some rusting around the seams. But that don't look like a bad car. 15 weeks, Washington. With a porthole window inside. 1955 Chevrolet, 6750 listed a week ago. Going to be Texas. This car actually made a bonus pick on our El Camino search just the other day. So we've actually already talked about it. You can see it's still posted, Texas, with a clean title. So I'm loving the deal, looking for a post, looking to build a drag car with a title. There you go. There's one. 55 Bel Air four door here. Gonna be Craigslist. Seven grand 20 days ago. Burgundy and silver. I like the two tone. You got a 57, some kind of coupe for sale, too. Looks like he's got a bunch of stuff, including a 55 Chevy. No title bill sale. So if you want to check him out with no title in Texas, he's got one. So we're going to stay on Craigslist. It's going to be Atlanta, Georgia, 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, seven grand. That's how you find this one. Looks like they just took it to the car wash. And it looks like they also hit it with the DA. Got the bumper off at the grill out of it. 55 Bel Air needs a new radiator and some TLC. Only serious inquires. Title status, it said, missing. Can't make that shit up. It was updated ad 11 days ago. 1955 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe 2D. Seven grand two weeks ago, New Jersey. I know it's not a Corvette Coupe. That's how you're going to find this car in the New Jersey area. Been on here for two weeks. <clears throat> I dig the slots. They had a California frame. It's also got a junk ass so you get a shifter in it. And a fuel cell. What else do you need? 57 Chevy? Boom. He's got one of those too. And a handyman wagon. Up for sale, clear with title, rough, but salvageable. So that's all you need to know. It's got a title for the 55, you want seven grand for that car. Check them out. New Jersey's your area. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, 7200 Oklahoma, listed one day ago. It's hard top, y'all. For 7200 bucks, Oklahoma. Got a staple shifter in it, still got taillights in it. Most of the trim bumpers are all gone. Glass is all taken out. Front clip's missing. I like that original orange. I think it was originally orange. Maybe originally red. Two-door hardtop. Looks worse than it is. That's what they say. It looks worse than what it is. Title would be what I'd have to ask him. Oklahoma, that's where it's at. 1955 Chevrolet Classic. 7300 bucks. 14 weeks ago. This was in California. I dig the slides. But it's rough. No engine, no trans. He does have trimmings. Manifolds, bumpers. Probably just not getting an engine and trans. Disc conversion kit, power booster, complete body bushings, universal transmission mount, frame mount. No motor, no tra or transmission. So there you go. You're getting no motor, no transmission in it at 7300 bucks. It's been out here for 14 weeks. 1955 Chevrolet Classic 150, 79.99. This car was on the last time we did 55 Chevys. So we do 55 Chevy, it seems like, every three months. Because the, the request for multiple subscribers starts piling up. Showed this car before. I'm not sure if I said you can't get there fast enough. But looking to build a gasser, 79.99. Pretty nice start to 55 Project. Has a clean Texas title. So myself, I'd rather go get the two off the gentleman.
for like 8500 for two of them. But that's me. I mean, 1955 Chevrolet Classic two door, 8500 listed eight weeks ago, Illinois. Got some 70s rallies on it again. Doubt this has a Camaro. That was a wagon that had a Camaro frame under it before. Just says need finished. That's all you get for description. It's a post, it's a two door, and it's in Illinois. And it's been on here for almost two months. So under our last Craigslist ad, it's going to be 55 Chevy, 8,700 bucks. going to be in Wisconsin. Posted nine days ago. And it's the cool green and white four-door that absolutely looks beautiful. Looking for a four-door, not sure why you'd pay more than $8,700 when it looks like all that needs is paint. Completely together, completely solid, beautiful car. Great, great deal right there. Looking for a four-door. You can't get there fast enough. We'll be back to Facebook Marketplace. 1955 Chevrolet Wagon 4-door. 8700 listed six weeks ago. Indiana. This looks like a great car. So they got the bodywork done. Looks like they cut the jams in already. So we're getting an engine and trans. Definitely getting some leather bucket seats. And a matching back leather seat. Got the tailgate. Lots of parts. Aluminum radiator. Lots of the trim. 8700 Indiana six weeks it's been on here looking to build yourself a dark blue wagon there's a start for 8700 your 1955 Chevrolet 210 four-door nine gram we're up to two weeks ago California two weeks ago blue and black blacked out those back door handles but I still see them so it's a four-door it's a pretty nasty interior got some cool cars though Clears peeling on the 55. It does say nine grand. It says 210 four door running and driving project needs finished. Now needs water pump. Has 350 with three on the tree. So it's going to be fun as hell to drive it. Hurt right. Three speed on a column. 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air four door nine grand listed a year ago. It's been here a year, y'all. Got our nice engine down in this one. Looks like you could drive it home. I highly doubt this is still posted for sale, but it is. So I shouldn't say I should doubt. I found the ad. You see it, a year old. So Marketplace has been needing to fix this for some time. Cars that are listed, they're no longer available. Eventually, it'll just be a whole website of cars that are no longer for sale. It'll be a 1955 Chevrolet, four-door, 4DR, Bel Air, 9,500 we're up to. 13 weeks ago, Tennessee. So you had some nice new paint right there. It's almost blinding. But then you see it's been sitting in the barn not put back together. And What, Sam Buff save it still? I have no idea. 55 four-door Bel Air. Ready to restore. That's what you get for description. It's a Bel Air ready to restore. 1955 Chevrolet G-Series. 1500. So I didn't realize this is not a truck and a van. But that's how he's got it posted. South Carolina 9500. 19 weeks. It's a nice looking car to be on here 19 weeks. And I got to tell you, he's got a lot of nice Chevys. Looking to get a Tri-Fi. This gentleman right here has got a bunch of Tri-Fis for sale. And he's got a, quite a few of uh, them B-Body Mopars that you have a hard time finding. And they're good prices. South Carolina, you're probably already familiar with this guy. 19 weeks ago, check this place out. Definitely selling a lot of cars. You just simply go to their profile, click on it, and it'll show you everything that this person has for sale. This is an awesome car, but he's got some better stuff sitting there, I think. You go there, I don't think you're coming home with this one. Let's say it that way. On to another one, 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air Sports Coupe. It's a sports coupe. This thing looks like a piece of shit, and there's no way I'd give it 10 grand for it. That's me. I mean, we've seen some pretty good deals on here so far. It says, one of the most rare cars you'll find. Solid body, just surface rust. My ass, man. This ain't just surface rust. If you know, you know, Sears inquires only. So check him out. He's only got three photos, one ten grand for that one. Out of his mind, man. 1955 Chevy Bel Air, ten grand listed a year ago. A year ago, Buffalo, New York. How the hell a car stays on here for a year? Beautiful dash. Car's got potential. No way it's ten grand to me, and that's why it's been on here for a year. Nobody's paying any ten grand for that. 1955 Chevrolet Classic, 10 grand, 10 weeks ago, California. 
Don't look bad. It's a two door. Two door post. Put together a cool car. Clean title. That's all you get. There is no description on this car. So we got one more here. Ten grand before my pick of the day. It's gonna be this one right here. Nineteen fifty five Chevrolet Caprice Classic Sedan Four D. Ten grand five weeks ago, Georgia. I love the American racing wheels. Man, these things look great on everything. I don't care what make model vehicle it is. Throw those on there and it's instantly cool. Kind of like the same thing with aluminum slots. They're just a little cheaper and really easy to polish up to look a lot shinier. But I'm loving the wheels. I love the original color too. It's a green and white. Clean title. Clean roller. No engine, no trans in this thing. So he could have edited these photos also and cropped off so we didn't have to see all of his phone details. But a lot of people just don't know how to do that. You know, A lot of people don't sell cars for a living. So on to my pick of the day, 1955 Chevrolet Hardtop Bel Air. It wants $89.50, listed two weeks ago. Virginia got the pick. So the pick of the day is in Virginia. You can see how much I can prove this picture from the banner and the picture he took. I always talk about cropping them, but he could have cropped this photo too. You can tell how much better I made the photo look. But hey, not everybody sells cars all the time or messes with photos and knows how to crop. 55 Bel Air. Hard top, small block Chevy four speed. He's not sure the cubic inch or what kind of four speed. It's got a one piece floor. Complete comes with it. Don't have the time to restore it. Clean West Virginia title. So it's in Virginia with the West Virginia title. Any questions asked? It's eighty nine fifty or best offer. May trade, especially for a car rated K twenty or K thirty or a V twenty, suburban blazer, crew cab, etc. So there you go. And he did say it had a brand new one piece floor coming with it. You can't get there fast enough. Looking for a hard top project? This is the one I'd go check out. He didn't say what the engine or the four speed was. Does have some damage in the side and the fender and the door. Nice big one piece floor to put in there. That'd be a nice project for a first first project. Putting some sheet metal in. Screw it up. Who's gonna see it? It's the floor. I love that it's a manual. This is my pick. Yeah, he said it did run. I gotta tell y'all, man, there's been some channels popping up like Brown Brian Beeler's rounding them up. I'm Brian Beeler, and rounding them up is what I do for you guys, finding classic cars. Sounds pretty good. But the one had a Tri 555 on there, and I was thinking, man, when the hell did I do that search? And I started looking at it, that wasn't my video. So, hats off to all you guys with the AI in Indonesia. They're making channels like rounding them up. I hope that shit brings me some subscribers too, because I know we've definitely provided you all with a lot of subscribers with thumbnails and banners 10k under I mean, cars found on facebook 10k and under no less i know how long it takes me to put these episodes together finding all these cars i handpicked these throughout the lower 48 it takes like three four hours to round up a set and then put them in order and then talk about them and have to edit out times i make mistakes and whatnot i enjoy it this channel is something i enjoy that i've created with all of you that i absolutely love it so, if you're looking for a classic car, don't be afraid to subscribe. And even if you're one of those people running the Indonesia channel, I don't care. I don't care that y'all are getting subscribers. You know, more power to you. I know myself, after I watch for a few minutes, I almost don't subscribe to myself. Man, don't bring bad shit. I mean, I don't need people unsubscribing to me because they thought one of your videos was me. But other than that, subscribe. It's been fun. It's been real. Thanks for watching, everybody. All the thumbs up. Still, we don't have any haters. I don't know what I got to do to piss some of y'all off. Maybe I pissed somebody off here today talking about talking about AI channels that are just... I'm digging it. I dig the search. Dig all of you. Thanks for all the thumbs ups. Sorry about not being able to provide any haters and thumbs downs. I don't know where you guys went. Come back. Come back. Unless y'all went to the... The AI channels, y'all can just stay over there. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Be good, stay safe. Until next time, peace out.